All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be something a little bit different than we do on the channel. It's going to be a unboxing, review, testing, just a different type of video for you guys. So if you guys are trout fishermen, fly fishermen, you've probably heard of the company called Tacky. Um, if you haven't, they're a fly box company that has basically revolutionized the fly box industry and they have a silicone insert inside the box that holds your flies. They're basically a premium fly box and you can find them in a lot of fly shops now. So I was talking to one of the owners of that company, Sean, and he got talking with me a little bit and told me that they actually have a second company that they've come out with or that they've started uh, after, after Tacky and it's called Groove. So Tacky is really for the fly fishing side of everything, but uh, Groove is really going to be focused more towards other tackle storage. So what they're doing with Groove is basically similar to what they're doing with Tacky, is they're using a silicone insert inside of the box to hold your lures and they're coming up with creative ways to kind of change tackle storage altogether. And it's something that tackle companies really haven't been doing. The tackle boxes have been the same for so long and uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna stop talking. We're gonna open this up, and we'll just talk as we go through some of these products. So, this is my first time actually seeing the stuff in person. All right, box number one here. This is the big jig box. And you can see it's a clear box, how thick it is there. And you can see the silicone inserts on the inside. So this is for holding uh, your bass jigs, or actually any type of jigs, larger jig heads, things like that. So let's just, we don't need this in here. All right, get a better look at it here without the cover on there. So you can see it's got slits, let's open this up. It's got nice silicone slits in there to hold your jigs. So what this is really for is, you know, previously what you would, what you were able to get were compartment boxes that you just throw everything into compartments, which they sort of solve a problem, um, fitting different sized lures into into different sections there. But they don't really hold your baits from rattling around or getting hooked on each other, and you know, wearing off the paint, things like that. So that's what this is kind of solving the problem of. Um, it's a durable, super durable construction, unlike, you know, the typical boxes. Let me grab one real quick. So this is a, this is actually a new box because the old box busted on me. And it's kind of funny. I wish I had the box. I literally just threw it away like the other day and I bought this one. So it looks pretty good, but you can see there's different compartments in there. But one of the things that uh, I found pretty interesting is that they don't use any type of locking closure on this. It's held together with super strong magnets. Let's see if I can show you that. You can see if the camera will focus here. You can see there's little magnets that actually hold this shut. And you know that's really good because I don't know how many of these things that I've busted these latches on and that's actually what happened to the box that replaced this one with it was uh, one of the three latch closures on each side and the one on the front busted off the one on the side busted off so i was down to one latch and the thing was always coming open so i had to buy this thing and these are so flimsy and not well made at all and so here's the big jig box let me put a few jigs in here and we'll see what this looks like all right so i put a few jigs in there for you guys you can kind of see that those silicone pads right there, they really grip that hook really good. I mean, those things are in there really solid. Let's do the shake test here. Ugh, yeah, those aren't coming out. Oh man. So I'm gonna load this thing up. This is gonna be a sweet jig box. Um, the other thing that they do, they have super strong hinges and I think they're stainless so they're not gonna rust out on you. You can see there's a, a See if it'll focus here. You can see the metal in there that goes all the way through, so that's going to hold that nice. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to do a drop test on this just right here, real quick, because I got an idea that the latch will probably come open, but it, everything's going to be in there, and you're not going to bust a latch. I 
I don't know, we're gonna see. We're just gonna drop it right here. Alright. Let me do a little flippity do here. That's about as high as I'd probably ever drop something from, is like waist high. And they're all still in there perfect. Sweet. Alright, let's see what else we got in the box here. That was the jig box. Okay, we got another jig box here. Alright, this one's different. This is the hard bait box. This is pretty interesting. It looks it looks weird as hell, but it seems like it, it works pretty good from what I've seen. So let's uh, take this apart, show you what this is. This is for all your crankbaits, topwater baits, things like that. You see all the silicone inserts there. Let's grab a few baits and put those in. It's, just, it's the same exact box basically, but it's got these holders like that. See, this is the problem with this too is when I open this up and I want to grab a top water, I'm grabbing two top waters or three or four, whatever you got all in the same compartment there. So this is going to minimize that. So I'm going to put this spook in here. Uh, we're just going to pick a spot. We put the hooks in the center there and then we just push this right into the silicone. And now it's in there. Put a couple more in to see what else we can fit for baits. Whopper plopper. See how that guy works. Works pretty good. Alright, so let's try a, a uh, crankbait here real quick. Sweet. Goes in there. So you can see how those go in. They're nice and uh, secure. They're not going to rub up against each other, rub on the bottom of the plastic um, tackle box here and scratch the paint all up. Obviously, lures get beat up over time with hook rash, things like that, but you don't want your tackle box to scratch up all your baits and things, so this will keep them nice and secure. They're not going to go rattling all over the place. So that's the hard bait box, but I kind of think I got to test something out here. You guys might have seen the video where I built this box for my spoons. And I needed a better solution to store my spoons so they weren't rattling all around and, and uh, beating the finish up on them and stuff. So I built this. Now I, th I wonder if these spoons will fit in these slots. So I'm going to try this. This is the Northeast Troller 100 spoon. Now I know this box isn't specifically made for spoons. This is a hard bait box. But... No. Oh. Well, it does fit in there. It does go to the bottom. It's in there. So I could actually use this as a spoon box if I wanted to. Let me try this big bait here. This is a big, bigger spoon by Northeast Troller for a pike that I use. That actually fits in there too. Obviously, it works for a variety of different baits. I don't know if anyone's ever even put spoons in one of these before. I might be the first one. So I don't know if these guys will ever come out with a spoon-specific box, but if they did, oh man, I would be all over that. I'd buy so many of those things. Like a large, a big, nice spoon box to hold a, a bunch of spoons, just stack them right up in a row. It'd be awesome. He also sent these here. These are launch pads. And what these are, are... Uh, Basically the same thing as those boxes. This is the same as the hard bait box. And this is the same as the jig box. So what you do with these is you can stick these on your boat or your kayak, whatever you got. They've got 3M backing on it. You can stick it on your boat to let your lures dry off, which is what I plan on doing. When I'm tossing jigs and I want to switch it up, I can take it off and stick it right into this silicone on the front of my boat. It dries the lure out so I don't put it back into my box wet and it ends up rusting. Uh, I can let it dry and I can uh, you know, be confident that this is going to stay up on the front of my boat even if I'm trailering it down the road. So let's just stick this baby on right now. So peel that backing off. 
We want to make sure that the logo is going the right way. We're just going to stick it right on there. Make sure it's kind of straight. There. I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of questions from people what the heck that thing is. But you'll see it in, in videos later on. And I actually think if I wanted to, I could put spoons on that to dry those if I'm tossing like small spoons and stuff. It's got big treble hooks there. I think I could actually stick that there if I wanted to. Yeah, that could dry right there too as well. This is for hard body stuff. So if I was throwing top water stuff, I could stick that on there. Um, but it looks like if you wanted to, you could just stick stuff like that. Um, so if you're using like a spoon, this is a trolling spoon, but if I was using a casting spoon, I wanted to let it dry off, you just stick that hook right in there and that thing will just hang right there. So that'll work as well. There she be. So I can throw top water. When I'm done with it, I want to let it dry. I just stick it right on there like that. And I can let the thing dry. So Sean actually sent me an extra one of these hard bait launch pads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give this away to one of my subscribers. So what I want you guys to do is just comment down below. Um, I'm going to post a picture of this on my Instagram right after I post this video. And I want everyone who wants to win this, you need to comment on the picture of this. Comment on this that you want to win it, whatever you want to say. Um, and also go follow Groove Fishing on their social media and uh, I'll pick a winner for this and I'll ship it right out to you guys. So the last thing that we have in here that I'm pretty excited about because ice fishing season is coming right up is the micro jig box. Now this is pretty sweet. This is kind of similar to their fly boxes. Now this can be used for like crappy fishermen that have smaller size jigs, trout fishermen. I might actually have to pick up a couple more of these because I have a whole mess of like trout jigs that I use with like uh, what are they called trout magnets you know worms different grubs things like that and they kind of just bang around in my tackle box and they get beat to crap because I'm hiking all the time and they're shaking up I think I'm gonna get another one of these to put all of those in to carry my hip pack but this box right here, I think I'm actually going to put all my ice jigs in. Now let me show you guys something real quick. This is what I've been using for ice fishing. It's just a little fly box type thing. And you carry this on the snowmobile, you carry this in your pocket. You're going to be here. Those jigs are rattling all around. Uh, I'm afraid to open this, but... Yeah. Yeah. We got a few jigs that are loose. So... I'm going to put all my ice jigs in there and this is the problem with typical fly box style um, boxes. You can see it's got foam in there that hold these jigs in and you can see over time with these jigs going in and out into that foam it creates a little pocket back in there and it just makes it so that jig is all loose when it sits in there and that just allows it to work itself out. With this silicone, it doesn't do that. The silicone keeps its shape and it keeps a lot of friction there on the, uh, on the jig itself. So that thing is in there nice. I like how there's a lot of space there too so they're not real tight so when your hands are cold, if you're wearing gloves, you can pick those right out nice and easily. Keep it right in my jacket. It's nice and thin, lightweight. So we'll put all of our jigs in there. <clears throat> they're still in there nice and tight. I would expect to see a lot more stuff from these guys in the future. This is a really cool innovative new design for tackle storage and a lot of companies just have not been doing anything with tackle storage. So this is a huge huge step forward. Unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use the tackle boxes a lot coming up because we got ice forming already all over the place. I'm going to use the boat one more time. Yeah the boat's basically done for the year so uh we are going to be using this a lot coming up though. This thing is going to be full of jigs. We're going to slap one of these bad boys on the back of the boat right now because I like to put a lot of companies that I really believe in on my boat. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but a lot of them are actually local companies. I don't have a bunch right now. Obviously, obviously we got the Everett Lures. 
that's my company. And then we have Northeast Troller, who's been a huge help. Um, all my trolling spoons are from them. We have Care Bassett Coffee Company. They don't even know I have this sticker on here. They just make amazing coffee. We got uh, Main Fishing and Hunting TV. Those guys are awesome. High and dry fishing products. These guys, I don't know a ton about, but I've used their stuff and it's awesome. It's probably the best uh, floating that I've used for for uh, dry fly fishing. And of course we got Cigars Daily over here. Tim from Cigars Daily. He'll probably never see this video either, but awesome company and uh, awesome guys. So we're gonna stick this on here and we'll probably put her right here. Sick. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I try to post a lot of trout fishing stuff, tips and tricks, things like that. But it's getting cold out here, so I'm going to go inside. And uh, we'll catch you guys later on the next video.